can't be number one at it, don't be it. That doesn't mean the largest in sales volume. It means whatever you're doing, do it better than your competition. See, it's imperative for your people to do what? Understand what they need to change. Understand why the need for continuance is proven. Understand why constant training and new ideas. We forget to tell them why. What you have to appreciate, folks, is your people are watching you all the time. You're the person that sets the tone. Are you the great communicator? Are you fast, efficient, flexible, compassionate, disciplined? More importantly, humble, curious, open-minded, attentive, focused, effective, determined. See, before you start grading your people, grade you. Because you're the person that's going to do what? Set the tone, establish the culture, and make the organization better. You're the leader. See, it never ceases to amaze me when I do strategic planning sessions for major corporations. I don't do generic ones. I call them up and I say, you know, let me see your FUBAR list. Or what? Your fouled up beyond all repair list. It's amazing how many companies don't have one. The first thing you need to say when your people fail is, what have I done to cause them to fail? Being an ex-athlete taught me a lot of important things about business I didn't appreciate at the time. One thing it taught me is I'm only as good as my next game. My last game will get me on the court, but the moment I start dropping the ball and missing the shot, you know what they say? You're out of here. You want to find out how good your company is? Call it. Call your company and find out how long it takes to get somebody on the phone who's got a smile on their face, who's got an answer. Call it. No, let's put them on voicemail. Let's not call it. Let's not answer. And then all of a sudden, if you don't answer, what if I need you on a Saturday at 8 o'clock when my stuff goes down? You said you were available 24-7, but I can't reach anybody. Find out how good you are. Call it. And then she said the words. She said, well, then what should we do? And he started explaining. When we walked in there, folks, we didn't have a customer. When we walked out, not only did we have a customer, we had a customer that explained what? That explained what we needed to do to get better. Sometimes, folks, when we make a mistake, the best thing that you could ever do is say what? I blew it. I blew it, but guess what? Let me tell you how fast we're gonna fix it. And all of a sudden, the client says, gosh, yellow blew it. But boy, did they fix it fast. Your customer understands mistakes. And guess what, folks? They make them, so do we. But it's how we fix them that counts. We now have an opportunity to do what? Take it to the next level. And that's what I'm trying to identify to you. Take it to the next level. Ladies and gentlemen, I learned a long time ago it rolls downhill. Management evidently didn't understand that the gatekeeper of their organization was the person at that front desk who should have said, when would you like coffee? That also doesn't mean the customer's always right. Sometimes we ask for things that we shouldn't have or we, you can't deliver. And you tell them that, we don't do that. But the point that I'm trying to make is that one right there. See, a moment of truth is any time you come in contact with any aspect of your company. Any time they come in contact with any aspect of your company and they use that to judge the quality of service that you're providing. Who is your company? The person that I'm dealing with at that exact moment. He'd stand up, they'd shoot him. He'd stand up one time, he did not say a word and someone shot him. Someone had the idea and they just pounded. He said, what was that all about? They said, you were thinking it. And then all of a sudden, at the end of the meeting, he stood up. I'm like going, whoa. He said, I stand here before you as the perfect example of what's been wrong with our company. Really? He said, I thought it was my idea, to, my, my job to shoot down ideas to protect us. He said, today I found out my job is to listen to ideas to find out what might be right with them, even if it's only a portion. I'm doing a program about three months ago for Honeywell. I put this up on the screen, the place goes nuts. I'm like going, what in the world? I mean, that's funny, but I didn't know it was that funny. It goes nuts. I had no idea what was going on. After the program, I'm doing a book sign. There's like 90 people on my tail. I'm like going, what? They said, it's here. I said, what? They said, it's in this hotel. They said, it's right down. I mean, we went down the hall. You know, we're like... Talk to your peers, your associates, your confidants about things that you're doing right and also things that you're doing wrong. Smart people learn from their mistakes. Wise people learn from others. And all of a sudden they'll say the number one person. And that person will be down there and they'll be at their table and the next thing you know the, the CEO of the corporation announces it and the lights go off and everybody starts jumping up and down and they're sitting there and they walk up and they grab the award and they're standing in front of everybody feeling wonderful, great, fantastic. And as they're walking off the stage, you know what management's thinking? What have you got going for me next year? 
It's not even cold in your hand. You know what we call it in business? Hero to zero. Folks, enjoy it. Feel the accolades, but then understand you got to go deliver again. And if you didn't get it, you can get it next year.